Hey guys, so today we're gonna to place in the timing belt on this Suzuki Carry. The process is pretty straightforward, so let's get started. So the first step is we're just gonna be taking the seats out. So first I'm gonna be taking the dipstick tube out. We have to do that by taking this 10 millimeter out. Since we're on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the upper cover. There's gonna be two up top, right here. One thing to note, these two are gonna be short bolts and these two here are gonna be longer. So just keep that in mind when you're putting everything back together. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the alternator so I can take the belt off. Just loosen that one. Let's see if that was enough. It was. Okay. So for me, my impact won't fit to get to this crankshaft bolt. So I'm going to go ahead and take this cover off. Now I'm going to try to remove the uh, crankshaft bolt. Alright, now that we have the harmonic balancer off, or the crankshaft pulley rather, we can remove the uh, remaining 10 millimeters that are holding the lower cover on. So, in order to align the tying marks, I put the crankshaft bolt back in. And I'm just gonna spin it counterclockwise until I get it, everything lined up. All right, so for the crankshaft, there's two ways. One, this line is supposed to be perpendicular with the oil pan, but also this little dot is supposed to be lined up with this marking on the back side behind the timing belt. It's hard to see it because the timing belt's in the way. So the way I do it is I just make sure this is perpendicular to the oil pan. So now I'm just going to be loosening this tensioner with a 12 mil. And just push it as much as you can. And then tighten so it's all the way loose. And that way you can simply just take the, oil, the tying bolt right out. Just like that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take the, the uh, tensioner off and replace it because it's not spinning how I'd like it to spin.
I'm just simply moving the uh, crankshaft one tooth back so that when I slip on the time bolt and I tension it, it'll move the crankshaft one tooth and it'll be in alignment. I need some more slack, it's too far back. So I'm just gonna loosen this. And then, just tighten that to get some tension. So now that we got the timing belt back on, you can see this mark matching up with this arrow. And if we go to the crankshaft, that line is perpendicular to the oil pan. And then that dot, I just put the dot back there. It's hard to see. I just want to mention that's a good idea to rotate the motor a few times to make sure no valves are hitting. And it seems good. All right, so we put everything back together. All right, so first, lower cover. So I can go ahead and put this crankshaft pulley back on. There's going to be two different types of bolts, a short one and a long one. The long ones are going to go where the upper and the lower meet. However, don't forget this bracket for the wire. Okay. And then the second long one's going to go up here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lower cover back on. I'm not gonna record this because it was hard to show you the bolts and you might not have to do this depending if your impact can reach that bolt or if you wanna get it off a different way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on. Now I put the lower cover back on. I'm gonna put the alternator bolt on now. Okay. All right, and then make sure it's tight. Looks good to me. Last step, I gotta do the uh, dipstick. Okay. All right, and we're done. Back. All right, 
You just gotta make sure it runs now. So obviously after you put the timing belt back together, make sure it starts. All right, success. So this job only took us about an hour. I would suggest that you check this after you get your Suzuki carry. At least take off the top timing cover so you can see the condition of your belt. But I mean, the belt's only like $30, $40 and the job takes an hour, so really no reason not to do it. If you like the video, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next repair. So obviously after you put the timing belt back together, make sure it starts. And of course the battery died because I took too long. Easy breezy beautiful girl. Yeah, I'm sort of worried. Huh? Oh. We're done.